Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Fine, I'll do it. In my last video, I said if I get 3000 likes within three days, I'll start a brand new profile where I can't buy armor, tools, or weapons until I defeat the hardest boss in the game, the tier four Enderman boss. Within 24 hours, that video has gotten 5,000 likes. But before I start a brand new profile, I first have to defeat it on my main profile. I somehow managed to defeat the tier three Enderman boss without the Warden Helmet. The tier four though, is a completely different story. While the tier three has 66 million HP, the tier four has 300 million. So the 200,000 damage I was doing per hit is gonna be nowhere near enough. And instead of the 12,000 damage the tier three does, this one does 21,000. So I'm gonna have to increase my defense as well, which is where the final destination armor comes into play. So before I start upgrading my weapons and grinding for the Warden Helmet, Again, I need to get my boots to 10,000 Enderman kills at least. While I can kill the tier three when I try my best, it's still pretty scuffed. So while grinding kills on my armor, I'm only gonna do tier twos. I'm less than 2,000 XP away from the next level, which is going to unlock this. I can upgrade my current weapon to do even more damage since I need slightly over 4,400 kills on my boots. And it takes me around 70 kills to spawn each boss. In total, I'm gonna get around 1,500 XP. Only a couple tier threes after that, and I will unlock the next Enderman Slate level. This boss is honestly super easy now compared to when I first started doing it because I got one for all on my weapon, which increased the damage by a ton. And I have a Reaper Mask, which doubles my healing. So instead of healing 170 per second from the Wand of Atonement, I'm actually healing 340. There is 6,000 kills. 7,000. 8,000. 9,000. And 10,000. I'm only four tier three bosses away from leveling up my Enderman Slayer and only like 40k XP from the next combat level. But before I continue the grind, I want to upgrade my weapon a little bit. It's finally time that I apply the Fuming Potato Bucks to this thing. It's gonna cost me 5.6 million coins. Unlike a normal sword, this one requires 20 gemstones, which is going to cost me 1.4 million. To unlock the second slot, I'm gonna need 40 Sapphire Gemstones and 100k. I'm also gonna get the Ruby Power Scroll for both my Sword and my Wand of Atonement. Whenever I right click an item with that scroll, I'm gonna regenerate 1% of my health at no cost. I think the cooldown depends on the item because on the Wand it's only a second, but on the Sword it's 4 seconds. Oh, and by the way, while grinding the Tier 2s, the admins actually fixed the Final Destination armor. So the defense bonus actually works, which is why I'll be using the Final Destination boots instead of the Necron boots. Although I do need to get wisdom on these. It's 4.2 million coins. I've been also bullied on my streams like 15 times because I don't have Ultimate Wise 5 on my Aspect of the End. So I'll get that as well, which is an extra 3.9 million. Hopefully the 310 defense I'm gonna get from these boots is gonna help me against the tier three. All right, time for the final boss. Oh my God, they're here again. I swear they only show up whenever I spawn the boss. Bro, I didn't even get the chance to spawn the beacon and I got a mana steel book. I actually did not know this is how you get mana steel, but now I do. How much are these? 40K, okay, they're kind of cheap. Anyways, thanks to unintentionally getting carried, I can now claim that. The next level is gonna require four times the amount of XP I have right now, but it's also when I unlock the gyrokinetic wand, the aspect of the void, and most importantly, the atom split katana, the final form of my weapon. But for now, I need to craft myself the Vorpal Katana. I'm gonna need eight Null Ovoids, eight Refined Mithril, a Null Edge, and of course, the Void Edge Katana. I think I need 32 Enchanted Obsidian per Null Ovoid, so I need four stacks. I don't even have to buy all the Null Spheres because of all the tier twos I did. I have more than enough. Next is going to be the Mithril, which is gonna cost me 2.6 million coins. That is a lot more than I expected. Finally, the Null Edge is three stacks of Enchanted Mithril and three Null Atoms. I already got one from one of the bosses, so I only need to buy two. They're super cheap, never mind. Three stacks of this. Time to do that, 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 this, 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 and finally, this. I'm really excited to see how much damage I'm going to do now. Previously, I did around 200k damage per hit, but now I'm going to do 350k? 
Okay, that's pretty good. That's still nowhere near the damage I need to get rid of 300 million HP before the boss despawns. So this weapon is only gonna make the tier 3s easier. I still have to grind to Enderman Slayer level 6 so that I can craft the Atom Split Katana. According to Bad Lion's calculations, it's gonna take me 150 tier 3 kills, which is gonna cost me 3 million coins and take me 15 hours. I'm not sure how long they think the bosses will take individually, but... Hopefully it doesn't take 15 hours, that would be painful. And that's assuming I don't fail a single time, which is very unlikely. Right, time for the first boss with the new sword, and there is someone helping. Bruh. Alright, time for the first actual solo one, hopefully they don't help again. Alright, that's the hit phase, I'm just gonna let the zombies do it. I'm already noticing a huge damage difference, to be honest. Okay, got a little bit low there. Oh, there's a skull somewhere, I think I already looked at it by... Mistake. Out of here. Oh my god, it's already at 30 million HP. There is a colossal damage difference. Beacon, nope. Okay, out of here. Look at the skull. And it's dead. It took me like three minutes. So I'm just gonna do some simple math to see how long it's gonna take to do the remaining 174. 7.3 hours. That is half of what Bad Lion predicted. But it's still seven hours. That's a very long time. Believe it or not, I'm actually making money just by doing the Slayers, even if I don't get any drops. Yeah, the Null Spheres are just that expensive. I have my sacks full right now, and if I sell them, I'm gonna get nearly 5 million coins. These next clips were actually streamed right here on YouTube, so if you missed the stream and you don't want to miss the next one, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. It's free, and you can always change your mind. I haven't done that in a while, but 65% of my viewers are not even subscribed. On the topic of subscribing, though... Thank you all so much. We recently hit 50k and it just, it blew my mind. So, again, thank you. By using every single brain cell my brain has to offer, I think I found a way to spawn three tanks without ultimate wise. So, thanks to this stupidly OP sword, I get 200 intelligence, right? So if I just get rid of my Necron and get wise, I now have 1,363, right? And then I can apply my guardian pet, 1,463. I'm like... 50 mana away, but don't worry, I can get even more. Currently I have the very wise, reforged which is basically wise, but because the dragon set itself is called wise, they changed it to very wise. Anyways, if I get necrotic on this thing, I'm gonna get 75 extra mana. Yeah, there it is, 50k each. Let's just, uh, advanced reforging. 300k per! Okay, that is a lot of money. That hurts, that genuinely hurts. Ouch. Ah, my purse. Okay, anyways, there it is. 1538 mana. Boom. Three tanks with no ultimate wise. And now I can just get rid of this, wear this again, and I have three tanks. I'm a genius, I know. Before I go back to grinding the Enderman, I wanna collect these because they're getting full. And also, it's about time that I sell this stuff, honestly. It's, it's getting pretty out of control. I'm just gonna instant sell this stuff. I know I can make a lot more if I sell it to NPC or even ju just setting a sell offer, but that's gonna take a lot longer. And I don't wanna waste time money. Time money, yes, I'm able to speak. Listen, I used all of my intelligence on that trick to spawn three zombies. All right. Oh my God, bro, I was at like, what, 47 mil? No, I think I was at 49 actually, but this is nuts. I made a lot more money than I thought. How much are these each? Oh my god. Okay, so if I sell all of these, I'm gonna make nearly 50 mil. Alright, if I'm ever desperate for money, I know where to go. If I'm ever desperate for money, I know where to go. I just remembered. I wanted to set a buy order for a recombobulator. Where are these things? Watch it be in front of me and I'm just blind. Oh, it's a Steve ad. Okay, thank you, Hypixel. I'm just gonna set a buy order for one of these for my boots. Because I'm going to be using this forever. Oh, it instantly fell. I'll be using them forever, so, you know, might as well recombobulate them. There we go. Slightly better stats. Definitely worth it. Plasma is like 30 mil. Do you mean 300? Is it actually 300 mil? Plasma flux. Done. Lowest price. Bruh. Bruh. I sold mine for 238. Where's the beacon? Where's the beacon? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was uh, definitely meant to happen. Don't worry about it. Wait, where's my boss? Uh, what? Oh, hello there. 
<laughs> Bruh, most scuffed boss ever. And death. Okay, let's just claim that. And there we go. 5,000 XP until the next level. Wow, I'm two tapping these. What what pet do I have? Wolf. Why am I two tapping them? What? Oh. I just jinxed it. Good job, me. You did it. I want to mess with my accessory bag a little bit. And I plan on buying two new ones and upgrading three of my old ones. First one is the Lucky Hoof. Uh, lowest price. It's kind of cheap. I'm surprised I didn't get this earlier. It's only 150k. So a free uncommon accessory. Thank you. I'm also going to get the Pocket Espresso Machine. How do you spell this thing? Uh, it's 500k. Again, another... Pretty cheap talisman. The next ones I'm going to upgrade, I already set up my order for four great white shark teeth because um, I'm gonna upgrade my uh, shark accessory thing. I bought these during the festival, so they weren't as expensive, but they were still like 3 million coins. Actually, I think more like 2.7. Anyhow, I am also planning to upgrade my personal deleter. So that's two legendary accessories. Uh, wait, isn't this the crafting recipe? Don't tell me I messed this up, please. It is, okay, why didn't it show up? I don't know. What is the other one? Right, soul flow thing. Where is it? Here it is. I crafted this yesterday off stream and I'm gonna upgrade it today. All right, quick craft is broken. Oh, I see. Wait, why isn't it? Okay, it really is broken. Okay, that's a rare accessory. Thank you, very cool. Oh, my order filled so I can just get this. And where is my deleter? In you go. I need seven of these. There we go. All right, I only have four remaining slots. That's pretty good. I got two more accessories and upgraded three. So that's pretty pog. Wait, did I just... <laughs> four zombies. Overflow mana? Oh, you're right. I forgot to deactivate that thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It is overflow mana. Okay. Uh, how are you going to buy Ashen Split? It's 83 mil. I'm going to craft it. Wait, it's 83 mil. Bruh. I'm going to be broke by the end of this stream. I won't even have enough money to spawn the cheater for. No auto slayer? No, but I am about to unlock it. I actually just realized that because I'm going to get Enderman Slayer 6. So I can use auto slayer again. Wh what is happening? Uh, I can't even speak properly anymore. Okay, last beacon. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, death. GG's. That was the last one. Boom. Enderman Slayer. Tier 6. I can finally do this. Thank you, game. Very cool. I'm gonna get on this thing. ASAP. I'm gonna need two stacks of Null Ovoids. Six of these, two stacks of Enchanted Quartz Blocks. I'm gonna set a buy order for these while I work on the other stuff. 128. 20 million coins. Oh, God. Ah, that hurt. By the way, this is everything I got from the grind so far. You know what? I'm gonna sell this stuff, actually. I don't need it. Start with the summoning eyes slash bazaar. That's a free 5 million coins. 5.4. These are like 120k per stack, I think. Where's Man of Steel 3? 200k each. Okay, that's fine. That's like 1 mil. That's not too bad. Anyways, nearly 2 million coins to claim. Don't mind if I do. All right, I'm gonna keep these because I need them to craft the other thing. This is all the Null Spheres I have. Over three double chests. So I'm just gonna fill my inventory with Enchanted Obby. Like that. That is not how you fill your inventory. 3.7 million. And that's not even all the obsidian I'm going to need. This is gonna be super expensive. I need two stacks of this stuff, dude. I, I don't have nearly enough to craft two stacks, but I just wanna bring the cost a little bit uh, down. Personal compactor? Right, I'm, I'm smart. I knew that thing existed. I need to buy 45 of these things, okay. Oh God, 40.6 mil. Ah, that hurt, that physically hurt. Okay, what else do I need? All right, the two stacks of quartz. Did I get any items? I got 12. I'll, I'll instant sell these, la I mean, instant buy those last because they're super expensive. I think I need three of these for each. So I need, I need 18, not items. I need to buy eight more. These are probably the cheapest thing at 321k. I'm also gonna need a bunch of enchanted mithril. There it is, enchanted mithril specifically, 1152. That is nearly 2 million coins just in Mithra. Now I can do this. Gimme. In you go. Gimme. In you go. Gimme. Alright, I just need the quartz now. So I'm just gonna instant buy them. I got, I got 12 more. No, that's fine. 104. Instant buy. 104. Done. 17. Actually, 18 million. I can't even buy them. Okay, I got them. Oh my god. I... 
I bought 14 more. I'm smart. Now, I just need to... Wait, no. What am I doing? I need to do that, 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 and that, right? No blade number one. No blade number two. Place that there. Place that there. Place that there. And there it is. The Atom Split Hatana. We did it, gamers. We did it. Can I one-shot these? I can't. That is not a damage bat, to be fair. What if I get full Necron? Please tell me I can one-shot them with at least full Necron. I can't. I'm gonna have to use Griffin Pet. Bruh. How much damage do I do with this? 918k. One mil. One mil. Actually, I'll do one tier four. Just one tier four. I'm gonna melt against this thing, but I wanna try it. I'm gonna get Final Destination Leggings for that extra survivability. Oh, zombies. Right, almost forgot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This is not a tier three. I can't do this without a ton of zombies. Also, because this thing gives more intelligence than the previous weapon, I don't need to switch to the uh, intelligence pet anymore. I can just spawn three zombies just by holding the sword in my hand and wearing Necron. I mean, uh, wise. Anyways, I'm just gonna do the boss. I don't need four tanks because I'm gonna die either way. I mean, hey, on the bright side, I can at least two shot these now instead of three. Okay, I guess the server doesn't want me to do a tier 4. The server knows that I will die instantly. It's trying to save me, but I'm a stubborn gamer. I refuse to give up. I mean, I will give up when it once apps me, but for now, I at least want to do it once. Oh, okay, 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 it's happening, it's happening. I don't have mana to spawn my overflex. No! Okay, okay, okie dokie, no, 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 this was a mistake. I'm not melting. Do I have a chance, question mark? I can do this. No cap. Okay, big cap. I'm out of mana. I'm dead. I got it to the beacon phase in the first attempt. Beacon out of here. Okay, it's dead. But I did get help, which sucks because I wanted to solo it. I could genuinely solo it though. It will despawn before. Will it though? I did 100 mil before it hit two minutes. So if I can do 100 mil in a minute, I can definitely kill it. And stone sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that actually. Slash auction house. That's a weapon. I can't buy it. Oh my god, I almost failed my challenge. How do I craft that thing? I need two stacks of enchanted endstone and a stick. Okay, there we go. Your damage is too low for endstone. You need at least 2.5 mil. Okay, never mind then. I'm not even gonna try it. Dude, if I defeat this boss, I don't have to grind for a uh, warden helmet. I can just give up and live peacefully. Enderman pet? I don't have an enderman pet. I have like an epic one or something. It's pointless. What does it even do? Where is it? Take 18% less damage from end monsters? What level is my pet? Uh, it's 61. Yeah. How can I buy one? Like, level 100, uh, Enderman pad? How much does that cost? What? What am I doing wrong? Filter? It is on Epic. I guess there just aren't many, uh, level 100 Endermen. There is this one. It's Mythic. Okay, there's this one for 58 million coins. It's level 100. It's Mythic. So if I use this, I'm gonna take less damage. I'm gonna spawn the boss faster. Hmm. Should I do this chat? I think I can get 58 million coins. I have a secret stash of coins. If I'm ever desperate for money, I know where to go. Just buy a level 100 rare. There aren't any. I'll do it, but I can always sell it back. Hopefully my stash is enough. You should know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, how much is that? That's 49 mil plus the 30 mil I have. It should be enough, right? I can always sell it back. It's fine. Give me. I do basically the same damage as Baby Yeti, but way more than a wolf. Also, it takes less skills to spawn than a wolf, and I'm almost going to spawn the boss. Why am I spawning the boss here? This is a scuffed location, bruh. I wanna spawn it in like a super flat area, because I wanna focus on the boss and nothing else. Here goes nothing. I guess here goes everything, because I spent all my money on this. Dude, I'm taking basically the same damage as I did with the Baby Yeti. Actually, even less, I think. Oh my god, the stupid fly hacker found me again. On the bright side, at least they're not hitting the Enderman. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't have my uh, overflex anymore. Okay, I'm gonna have to chill on the, uh, the ability of this thing. Where is the uh, beacon? 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 Where? That was... That was fair. There is a cure for everything. Four mail. I don't care. I'm just... I'm mad. You bought a weapon? Oh my... You're right. Ah, I hate this. Why did I do this? Why did I do this to myself? And you go. I can't use it. I didn't use it once, so... Never mind. I can't use that. I forgot. Wait, there's one thing I can do. Slayer recipe, slayer. There is one thing that makes me invulnerable. This. Become invulnerable for five seconds, but can't deal damage. Helps you damage for two seconds afterwards. It costs 350 mana. Oh, that is expensive. Yeah, I can't craft this. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep dying to stupid beacons. All right, gamers. Hopefully, 
this is the time that I don't get that stupid fly hacker above me. And who knows, maybe the boss doesn't yeet the beacon into the fourth dimension. I need to fly, not to fly, but jump. Yo, chat, this genuinely is possible. I just need things to flow in the right direction. And I can defeat the tier 4 Enderman boss. Haha, <laughs> that was too close. I really need to stop saying it's possible. Because as soon as I say that, something goes wrong. Wait, where's Beacon? Beacon, Beacon? Out of here. It's half health. Regenerates in some mana. Thank you, very cool. That is not... That was my Beacon. It can throw Beacons in that face? Okay, that's good to know. Where is it? Behind me? Okay, thank you, Badline. Very cool. Things are looking good. I have over a minute left. Oh, okay, that's gonna be sussy. Can I do a million, a hundred million damage in under a minute? Can I? Where is it? Where's the beacon? Didn't get highlighted. Cool, very cool. Believe in the dream. Wait, beacon? Beacon? Oh, no, I don't have enough damage. It's gonna despawn. It's gonna despawn. Ha! Ah. It's gone. It's gone. No, only 30 million left. No. No. I hate this game. Why, chat? Why? Why? Unfortunately, I was unable to kill it. As you just saw, I got extremely close and got it down to 30 million HP, but then it despawned. The main problem is I simply did not do enough damage, and for that, I need the Warden Helmet. There is no way around that. After that boss, I genuinely believed I could do it. After all, I only needed to do an extra 30 million damage. The stream went on for another hour of me trying to defeat the tier 4 with many different strategies, but none of them worked. But even though I failed at killing it, I would not consider this a complete failure. In fact, I consider this video a massive success because I made it to Enderman Slayer level 6 and I got my hands on the Atom Split Katana. Thanks to this thing, the tier 3 Enderman boss which terrified me last video is now a walk in the park. But all of these upgrades did not come cheap. I only have 3.5 million coins remaining. And knowing how cursed I am when it comes to RNG, I am not gonna get the Warden Heart with that. And even if I do, it's nowhere near enough to craft the helmet. Long story short, that's a grind for a different day. Thank you so much for watching gamers and thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace.